Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Hobby Design. So here we have the interesting upgrade set for recent release from Tamiya. As you remember we reviewed this Fiat 500 in 124 scale obviously and the kit itself, the plastic itself was not exactly fresh so that's why there are already several aftermarket add-ons available in order to improve the details on this kit and this is one of them so as you can see it is quite uh, packed with various stuff. We have also the small box art picture and the set number is 24169 so we have the final shape of this release and it was ordered with help of your donation so thank you and first of all I have to know that the packaging is typical for this brand here on the rear side we don't have pretty much anything and everything is stapled with this uh, uh, staples so I'm going to use a debonder in order to open it and check it together with you so just give me a moment in the meantime I can also remind you to check the original plastic kit review on the channel as well because it was a really cute small car kit which might be fun to build especially if you are a fan of the classic Italian cars and now I just need to understand why I was <laughs> separating the paper clips why I'm saying this because it's actually a resealable plastic bag so that's why it will be easy and quick to open. Just give me a moment. As you have noticed probably there is assembly manual and some PE threads and also this uh, tiny box art which is actually a sticker on top of the plastic bag. So first of all we have here the um, belts buckles which are omitted in the original plastic kit so there is nothing even to compare it with because this element is simply not included in the original plastic release so that's why it is great to have it included here and I will open the plastic bag and show you a bit closer uh, what we are talking about here but I mean uh, the seat belts are usually omitted by many brands so there is no surprise in that and here you can see those parts a bit closer so we have five pieces of those parts they should be used for the front parts mainly maybe for the rear seats but frankly speaking I'm not sure if it was in the original Fiat 500 if they actually installed this on the rear seat so if you know feel free to write in the comment section Next we continue with the uh, external elements, so this is the unpainted PE thread with a mesh for the radiator grill I guess. We also have the logo made out of PE part and we have the rear view mirror I guess and those ones I am not sure where they will go but they are included here and you can see this PE thread from the opposite side. So I will leave it actually on the table and maybe I will leave this uh, pedal also on the table so that you can see how many things we actually get here. So next one is the metal plate again but this one is wrapped into the blue plastic and if camera will focus you will see that here we have a lot of tiny parts we have again some elements for the seat belts we also have some handles and I can see that some of the uh, pushes and buttons are also made out of P parts but I think this will not be necessary for my build because I will be using the uh, 3D printed upgrades from USCP. Next we continue with the seat belts I guess because I don't see anything else what will be used as a seat belt so as you can see they are provided as a PE parts and maybe it's actually good because you will be able to shape them properly and just to place on the car so who knows we need to see the assembly manual and to understand fully the idea behind it but what is even more interesting is that we get the uh, window frames or window seals and even the pedals made of PE parts. Again, for the pedals I would rather use something what is offered by USCP because they are a bit more three-dimensional. But it's nice to have the license plates here, also some of the external elements, for example the screen wipers and those window frames as you can see. So I guess it is done this way in order to preserve the chrome finish, but we will check in a second what is exactly the idea so let's move these uh, PE parts to the side and these buckles as well and this sticker as well so assembly manual is quite simple I just need to open it and we will start checking 
everything one by one so what do we have here first of all we start with the uh, clear parts I will close the lenses so that you won't be dead blinded and as you can see those P parts should be actually applied onto the clear parts this is quite interesting design I'm not sure how it will work out so maybe it will be uh, worth crying out on some other element and why I'm saying so because here is the original clear part and as you can see we have uh, I would say surface pre-molded so I guess what is suggested here is that you don't mask it you just apply this P parts and you get the chrome finish probably but I'm not sure how feasible is such procedure maybe it will be a bit more natural looking because uh, obviously such thing is way better than trying to bring out for example with mold of uh, pen but we will need to check and as far as I remember anyway the original Fiat had these uh, frames as a chromed part so that's why it is important probably next we continue with the seat so for the seat you will have to use the seat belt and also this buckle from the different side and this is i'm not sure what is happening here so we need to cut off uh, some parts and install the new ones but I'm not sure where it's going. It's part B25. So let me find it. I just need to understand what it will be actually doing. So B25 is actually some switches which are molded as a simple part. If camera will focus, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So let's focus it a bit. Yeah, now you should be able to see this switch. It's this part. And as you can see, it's really tiny and what manufacturer here suggests is to completely erase these uh, switches and to replace them with the uh, metal and P parts, which is quite interesting. And note that you also have to use the metal wire. So keep this in mind. Next, we continue with uh, more parts for the screen wipers, as you remember, and also here for the door handles. So as I said, for the door handles, I would rather use the parts supplied by USCP because they were very superior to what is supplied here. Next, we continue. So uh, this was the mesh for the rear, let's say, engine deck. As you can see, uh, this thing is not, I would say, nicely copied in the original plastic. I mean, it is just uh, imitation of this mesh and you should be able to see it now maybe I'll take it out of the plastic bag so that you can see what we are talking about here so here is the mesh and if camera will be kind enough to focus you can understand what I'm talking about I guess this mesh can be applied straight on the top of this part and what I would only recommend is to drill out the holes because this way you will make it even more realistic but um, it will take some time of course but the final result should be worth it so definitely invest some time and what is next here so we also install the uh, badge here we install the license plate we cut off no actually it's written here that you should cut off the original imitation of the uh, net here on the engine bay we also have this uh, p parts for the rear view mirrors as i said before and here we have some elements for the uh, dashboard but again those parts will be better of uh, copied with the uscp elements and i'm just checking what is also offered on the uh, steering wheel column so this one might be actually handy because as you can see these stalks they are actually not copied on the original plastic and i just need to check in order to confirm it i see the steering wheel but i don't see the uh, column no it is actually copied so they are quite simple and i will just show it to so that you can understand here is the column and you can see this pre-molded handles or stalks and as you can see here they are completely replaced with uh, nice p parts so this is up to you whether you would like to go this way because obviously it will be a bit fiddly but the final result should be worth it and as for the whole release it should be already available so you can get it on any good model shop and i would like to thank you again for uh, um, donations which made this review possible of course i will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye